Cards YouTube channel. Welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. I'm Beck. I'm Penny. And today we are literally going to rip up a baseball card because we were lucky enough to pull from 2021 Allen and Ginter a triple rip card top loader. This one is of the legendary George Brett. It is numbered 11 out of 80, but none of that matters. We are chasing the three cards that are inside here. Now, Penny, do you think that we should rip it? You got to talk loud. I think that we should. Why? Why? Well, there could be really good cards in there, and if we don't rip it, then we could be missing out on Mike Trout. We could be missing out on Mike Trout. What about you, Beck? The cards in there are always better than the actual card, is according to Dad. They're always better. You want to know why? Plus, we've never not ripped one of these things. We've never not ripped one. So here's it's what... It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. So here's what it says on the back. Rip it or keep it. If you dare, rip this card open to discover three collectible exclusive mini cards embedded inside. An exclusive mini stained glass parallel and two of the following. An exclusive mini parallel. Those are going to be numbered 351 to 400. That's the only place where you can find these. An exclusive mini wood parallel, a mini metal parallel, a mini red inked autographed card, or a one of a kind sketch card. If we pulled the sketch card, I would go bananas okay so are we, we ready it. to rip it that's why we rip it because if we do pull that and it, if we didn't rip it we'd be flipping out we'd never know it was even in there okay so i believe here we go last time you're gonna see this card in good condition 11 <laughs> out of 80 george brett kc nation sorry for ripping up george brett on you but we're doing it all right so here's our first tab let's get it graded after this the George Brett. And I think we're going to have two cards on the top. I can already see the card. We can already see one of the cards. Is it a sketch card? We can already see two. They do not look Ooh, like sketch like cards. Cincinnati and you know, that our, you know that our mini stained glass is going to be down here. Yeah, so, no, no wood, no metal. Did we make a mistake? We may have. May not. We may have made a mistake here, guys. We will see. Because the... You could not see it right, and it could be really good. We have a Cincinnati we have Red. A Joey Votto. Is that Vot? Yeah. Is I that who you is. think that is? I know that is Vot. You know that's Vot. Okay, so here's our first one. Let's get the, let's get our first one out. Our first one we can definitely see. Our first one, not a sketch card. No auto either. No autos. Oof. We may have made a mistake here. A triple rip card. This card is probably worth $150 to $200 selling it unripped. But our first Let's one see. gonna be the legendary Bob Gibson. It is a mini parallel numbered 357. The, like I said, the only place you can find the mini parallels, the set, even with the high number short prints, only goes up to 350. So you can get cards 351 through 400 in the rip cards only. So we get a Bob Gibson. And I think Penny wants to hold it. So hold on, we're gonna get it in its sleeve because it's a nice card right here. All right, go ahead and hold that one. Show it on camera. There's the Bob Gibson, legendary Bob Gibson. And our second one, Beck thinks it's Joey Votto. Number 19. It could be Joey Votto. It could be anybody. I'm pretty sure it is. You're but if it isn't, sure Cincinnati's Red, Reds baseball it's camp Cincinnati taught me nothing. Red. If it <laughs> isn't Cincinnati Reds baseball camp. Okay. The kids did go. Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit harder to pull know. out of here. I don't want to scratch the surface of the card. So yeah, one that second. Could be bad. It could be a really good player. One second. It's very hard to get out of here. My yeah. lord. Now we're going to have our mini stained glass at the bottom, so we want to be careful. Oh my lord, we are ripping this card up. Oof. This is not going to be a good one. Hmm, how are we going to get this one out of here? Let's see. We ripped it. We can't get it out. We have to think right now. Uh, we don't have to think. We just have to do. There do we go. Do or die. And there he is, Mr. Joey Votto. Beck was right. 
They did teach me something, though. Okay. They did teach you something. So, Joey Votto, card number 378. Oh, and I just hit the camera. Ah, oh, no, there we no, go. No, All right. Gonna... So, Joey Votto to 378. We'll get that top loaded. So, two mini super high number short prints. Beck's going to hold that one. Now, who is our mini stained glass parallel? Hold on, Beck's gonna hold the Joey Votto. You've got the you've got the Bob Gibson. Here's our mini stained glass. Uh oh, who's that? Is that another Joey Votto? Another Joey Votto? Oh, another. So it's a Joey Votto. Rip card. That is him. That. I can see his face, and that is him. You can see his face. I can also see the Votto. I can also name. see his name. Now, here we go. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Joey Let's Votto. pull this one out. See what the 2021 stained glass we parallel should looks not like. Sc scratch that one. Nope. All right, hold on. So we got to put this. The best way to see it is putting it on a white background. Yeah. So, so that is, is the Joey Votto. Now these are not numbered, but they again the only place you find there them. It is. This is Click. number 89 on the stained glass parallel. So let's get ourselves Click. a sleeve for this one. Beck, put up that other Joey Votto and like we'll compare them. So this one is definitely better, the stained glass one. Oh he, yeah, the stained glass is better awesome. in the like photo. He looks he has, better in the photo. So what else, he Penny? Of course, has like a great background and stuff. It's stained glass. It's like he went to church or something. Yeah. And then here's a third card. All right, and we got the Bob Gibson. So oh, the question becomes. If we didn't get the, Bob Gibson, and then instead we got all Joey. So we got one Hall of Famer and one future. Well, is Joey Votto a Hall of Famer? Let us know in the comments below. Um, we get the stained glass Joey Votto and the Joey Votto mini parallel. So the question is, Penny, was it worth ripping the triple rip card 11 out of 80 George Brett, who is also a Hall of Famer? I'm going to say it is because we got two Joey Votto. And you guys went to Red's camp, and you love Joey Votto now. A penny. <laughs> right. Now, Beck, do you think it was worth ripping the 11 out of 80 triple rip George Brett for the Bob Gibson and the two Joey Vottos? I don't know. But and I he has proved that we did rip it, and we didn't just Oh, they saw balls. us rip it. We put it yeah. on camera. Yeah. Thing is destroyed. Yeah. Right, but we're going to put it back together. Let's send it into PSA now. See what send it into PSA. <laughs> See if we can get ourselves a 10 on this guy. Yeah. All right, so. And if we do, I don't know how that's possible. We won't. But you do still get to keep the front of the card. Front of the card looks great, although I did bend it even a little bit right there. Ooh, um, yeah. All right, so, Beck, you don't know? what? Tell us, yes or no? It's a yes or no? No. You don't think it was worth it? Me? No. Um, I'm going to say it. not worth it. Because oh, yeah, change right now. I'm not really worth uh, it. you think it's not worth it because I didn't get any angels <laughs> and I don't PC any of these players. If I PC them now, to be honest, these are again, very valuable cards. Everyone you pull out of here, very valuable. But the fact that you can get metals, the fact that you can get wood cards, the fact that you can get some autos, we didn't get any of those. I'm going to say not worth it. Although the George Brett was numbered to 80. It wasn't like a number to 25. So you guys let us know in the comments below what you think this card, uh, if we should have kept it or if we should have ripped it, you let us know in the comments below. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe to the channel. So that way you can see all of the set reviews we do on the channel um, and check out Patreon if you would like to get into any future One Cent Sports Cards break. Uh, Penny, you got anything else to say? Yeah, make sure to like in the comments below you say if it was worth it to rip this all the way up for these three cards. Okay, Beck, what about you? Um, Be good. And we'll see you next time. Yep. As always, guys, be good to your family. Be good to your friends. Be good to your neighbors. Good luck on your personal pack polls. And we will see you on the next One Cent Sports Cards video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.